Hey guys, Jay Anthony, welcome back to the channel. Quick little introduction. So for years now, I wanna say at least four or five, I've been hearing rumors that watch dealers are refusing to buy Panerais without box and papers. And I remember thinking that was just the most bizarre thing. But the rumor was is that the fakes had gotten so good that even dealers were terrified to buy them, either because they thought the fakes were too good or they had a hard time selling them because people wanted box and papers to prove they were buying real ones. And so this is something, you know, I've just kind of naturally been curious about. And, you know, as usual, I visited my friends over at Bernard Watch and they would gotten in a decent Panerai fake. I say decent, it's not crazy top quality. There's definitely some noticeable things. But I was kind of curious, you know, this whole rumor of being afraid to buy the fakes and, you know, that they've gotten that good, how much truth is there to this? So today's video, I want to take a quick look at two similar Panerais, one being a real, one being a fake, and see if both myself and you guys could tell the difference. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, customary wristwatch check, then I'll get asked. All right now, I'm still wearing my new Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea 11660 that I love. Should have worn my Panerai for this video, my PAM 287 radio mirror, but anyway, wasn't thinking. But anyway, guys, let's jump in. So I'm back over visiting my friends at Bernard Watch who uh, only sell authentic watches. The cool thing is though, sometimes people try to sell replicas or they get a hold of replicas and as they would never sell them, it means that they get to keep them around and I get to play with them. So uh, in front of us right now are two Panerais. On my left, I have a Panerai 111, which is one of the most common Panerai models out there. And on my right, I have a Panerai 000. Both of these use the manual wind movements, and one of these is an authentic and one of these is a replica. And so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at both of these watches. I recognize they're not the exact same model, but you know there, there's enough here that we can kind of take a look at them. And your guess is going to be what I wanna know. So we're gonna kind of look at these both in depth, and then I want you to let me know which one you think is real and which one is a worthless replica. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 111 over here. So I love what Panerai has done in the past, which is that they've used the Valju 7750 movements and uh, obviously some of these Unitas movements, and that gives them the ability to put the, the second hand over here in the nine o'clock position. I still think that's cool. Um, on the dial, we can see it says Luminol Marina Panerai. Looks pretty good. We can see there's this blue anti-reflective coating. I always like the way blue AR looks. Blue AR is an old school way of doing AR. I know a lot of AR now, anti-reflective doesn't glow blue, but I still think that's cool. Um, we have the traditional Luminor lockdown crown, which to me is always cool. Pull this lever out. First position is winding. We pull the crown out, it is non-hacking, and then we're able to set the watch. Um, traditional Luminor case. This one has a see-through case spec on it. We can see that Unitas movement in it. We can see uh, the strap is marked Panerai Italy, or as some Italians in New York like to say, Italy. We can see Panerai marked on the buckle. Officine Panerai on the strap. It's a nicely thickly padded black strap. If we pop this case back off, we can take a look at the movement. See how it's marked Panerai. Got a nice little uh, blue lettering on it. We can see the swan neck adjustment. We can see the balance wheel ticking away here. We can see the escapement on um, the winding wheels. Very pretty movement. And then obviously there's been some finishing as well. So this is again the Panerai 111. Let's take a look at the other watch we got. Just put this back on here loosely. So over here, we have a Panerai triple zero. So um, we have a nine at nine o'clock versus the traditional seconds and, um, you know, people have different preferences. This one is actually coming to us on a lizard strap. Uh, again, Panerai marked buckle. As before, traditional Luminor crown. And winding. And we can set it. Traditional Panerai case. Now this one doesn't have a see-through case back, so let's go ahead and just take the back off. Now, let me show you the buckle here. Again, off a Panerai. 
This one has made in uh, Austria printed on it. And here we can see the movement. We can see some blued screws. This one is also marked Panerai. Um, we can see the regulation for the balance wheel. And this one also has a light blue printing on it as well. This one's a different shade. This one's closer to the color of the screws. And so if I put them side by side, you can see uh, the one on my left, the 111, has the Panerai logo in a different location than the one on my right. And you can also, again, see, you know, just kind of some finishing differences on the movement. So with all that said, before I reveal the real one, let me know what you guys think right now, which one's the real and which one's the fake. Is it the left one or the right one? So if you guess the one on the right is the genuine one, you are correct. As you can just see looking at this movement, the level of finishing on this is just a much higher quality. The printing is much better. The finishing is much better. The blued screws have a great reflection to them. And remember too, this is a movement that Panerai didn't even expect people to see because it was under a solid case back. But you can just tell on this that the overall finishing is of a very high quality. When we go back to our fake over here, Panerai printing on the movement just looks awful. There's no other nice way to put it. You can also tell that some of the finishing on the movement itself isn't anywhere near to the same quality. Let me take this back off. When you put them side by side, I mean, I think the answer is pretty obvious here. The, the finesse and the finishing on the genuine PAM triple zero on my right versus this replica 111, you can just tell at this level that they're night and day differences. And that's the thing with Panerai though, they're getting scary because they use, you know, very basic movements with some basic finishing techniques. There's a lot of very good replicas out there. And without box and papers and a lot of bit of knowledge, um, there are some super replicas out there that would fool some very talented individuals that handle these watches. And so this is just kind of a warning again that you need to buy from someone you trust. And so if you're looking to buy a genuine one, uh, this one on my right is genuine. It is for sale, the Tripper Zero. You can buy it at BernardWatch.com. They only sell authentic Panerai. Um, if you're looking for a replica, this watch is not for sale and I can't help you. But as you can see, while they look similar, the overall level of quality and finishing is just not even comparable, even on a watch this simple. And so, you know, you might be able to buy a replica, it might fool a lot of people, but long term, it's not going to hold up. The quality is just not there. And it's going to be worthless if you ever try to sell it because the people that resell these things that have, you know, real, real place in the watch community that is trusted individuals are going to spot this a mile away and never sell this to their customers. And so, you know, if you want to buy it as a toy, by all means, but it has really no value and it's nothing compared to the real thing. So I hope you guys found this thing interesting. Um, I think this movement's beautiful, so I'll just kind of leave it on a movement shot. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. You know, in this case, we got a little bit lucky. Uh, the printing on the movement of the fake and the fact they put a clear case back on it made this one pretty easy. I think if you're pretty used to the quality standards that Panerai has. But if you can imagine, if they had a solid case back on it, we would have been none the wiser. At least I would not have been able to tell the difference. You know, I would have looked to see the quality of the strap and some things, but to be honest, you know, if you can't look at the movement, and a lot of people don't look at the movement, this would have been a pretty frightening comparison. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I appreciate it so you guys can see my new videos. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love being a part of this community, and I appreciate you. More uh, videos are coming hopefully in the near future as I, I find time to make them. But anyway, thank you guys so much for the support. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.